Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to take notes at university. <laughs> I thought this video would be really useful for prospective university students, current students and also maybe A-level students because taking notes is quite a generic thing but there are many different ways of doing it and it really depends on who you are as a person and how efficient you are at taking notes. So I'm going to go through a few of the different types of note taking that I did over the year. I am one of those people who always likes to try different methods to see if there's something better out there. So I'm going to talk to you about the different methods <laughs> as I said and I'm going to show you examples as well so you guys get an idea of how I take my notes and then kind of to discuss pros and cons of those as well. We're going to start off with the method that I probably started university with and that is just taking notes on pieces of paper and then filing them and then later typing them up. So throughout university I probably went through quite a few of these sort of refill pads. My favourite ones are actually the narrow ruled ones from WH Smith. So what I used to do is I'd write up notes like this and then I would file them and then either type them up by later date or sometimes just leave them. A lot of the times I was actually quite neat and I like being neat and I would end up with some really pretty notes. I know that's not the whole point of it but they're really easy to read. The way I like to set my notes out is I like to have the title of the book and the author and also the date that this was published or written so that it helps when it comes to essays. I also like to put the date that I took these and also what lecture it is because with a lot of the novels uh, you do, you do over maybe a week or two weeks and you can have multiple lectures in that week so just to keep it clear. I also like to write if the PowerPoint is on Learning Central which is where they put all the slides and things just so I know where to get them. If I use a new piece of paper I like to write that the title of the novel and then put continued so that I don't get confused and I also like to number my pages so I have a clear idea of where it is. My second method of taking notes is using a laptop. It was one of my most efficient methods of taking notes. I did use that method a lot especially in the second term because it just was easy only thing to recommend about taking a laptop, number one, it's always got to be charged. So if it's not charged, a lot of the lecture halls actually haven't got plugs, so especially the older ones. So you need to make sure your laptop's charged before. And so just one thing to be aware of is like, if your laptop is really heavy, you may not want to take it every day. I basically did the same formatting that I did with my written notes, but I could just put a few more graphic-y things on there, like a, a line. I say graphic-y things, not really. And you can also use different colours and bullet points and everything in a nice way. But the same thing, I like to write down the title of the text we are doing, the date. I also sometimes put the lecturer down so that if I need to email them with any questions, I know exactly who I'm emailing. And if they give us an email address, I'll also put that down in my notes. Apologies for Hoover. One of my most recent methods of taking notes, I only started this towards the end of the term, but I actually think I'm gonna continue with this next year, is taking little books about this size and writing notes in these and then just having these for the topic. So this one is for my creative writing. I don't know why I like this so much. I think it's because I can take multiple different books and just have them in my bag and they're not too heavy. And there's something quite satisfying about having it all just contained in this. Same thing, sit it out very similarly to my other notes, but it's just nice to have it all in one space. And it avoids me having to lug around those big folders because it ended up towards the end of time I was carrying around that big folder to go do work in the library and it is hefty. So if you've got these little books here, you can kind of slot in sheets and I can also plan my essays and things in here and then it's all just contained so in here I've actually got some essay drafts and numbers and things to sort of work out how many words I had with all my pieces uh yeah I definitely think this is a really useful way my fourth method of taking notes especially as an English lit student is writing them in the book this is so useful if you want to sell your books on it may decrease the value or people might quite like it having notes in because it gives an extra perspective I like this method a lot because I'm going to keep my books because I quite like having them but I would take a highlighter to my books and just go ahead and highlight them and then write notes alongside and this meant that when it came to doing essays I could quite literally go into the book and find a load of points and then I would jot those down into my essay plan. It's basically the way that university works for English Lit is that they will give you lectures on context and they will give you some points about the book. But with, for the most part, you've got to work out your argument to your essay. During the lecture, I will listen to what the lecturer is saying, I will write my other notes, but I'll also note in here my own ideas, my own thoughts. Obviously your brain works a certain way that you'll hear something and you kind of bounce off that and you'll do things with that. That makes no sense really, but I hope you guys get what I mean. You use that knowledge to make your own judgment on the book. And that is what I put in here. So I put my own judgment in here. So when 
when it comes to it, I've got my own ideas all within this book and I could just use that to my mayor. So, so this is just an example of one. Ali Smith, Government's Boy. I actually really enjoyed this novel. And obviously it just helps with quotes as well later on. So I know this video is probably a little bit rambly and I hope it was helpful for some people. I'm not really sure. Editing Ella might not like this video at all. I hope it helps someone and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>